The following table lists the values of functions f and h and of their derivatives, f prime and h prime, for x is equal to three. So all this is telling us when x is equal to three, the value of the function is six, f of three is six, you could view it that way, h of three is zero, f prime of three is six, and h prime of three is four. And now they want us to evaluate the derivative with respect to x of the product of f of x and h of x when x is equal to three. So one way you could view this is if we viewed some function, if we viewed some function g of x, g of x as being equal to the product of f of x and h of x, this expression is the derivative of g of x. So we could write g prime of x is equal to the derivative with respect to x of f of x times h of x which is what we see right here, and which is what we want to evaluate at x equals three. So we essentially want to evaluate g prime of three. This is what they're asking us to do. Well, to do that, let's go first up here. Let's just think about what this is doing. They're asking us to take the derivative with respect to x of the product of two functions that we have some information about. Well, if we're taking the, pro the derivative of the product of two functions, you could imagine that the product rule could prove useful here. So I'm just going to restate the product rule. This is going to be equal to the derivative of the first function, f prime of x, times the second function, no der not taking its derivative, plus the first function, not taking its derivative, f of x, times the derivative of the second function, h prime of x. So if you're trying to find g prime of three, well that's just going to be f prime of three times h of three plus f of three times h prime of three. And lucky for us, they give us what all of these things evaluate to. f prime of three, right over here, they tell us. f prime, when x is equal to three, is equal to six. So this right over here is six. h of three, they give us that too. h of three, when x is three, the value of our function is zero. So this is zero. So this first term is you just get six times zero, which is going to be zero, but we'll get to that. Now f of three, f of three, well, the function when x is equal to three, y or the func f of three is equal to six. So that is six. And then finally, the h prime evaluated three, h prime of x, when x is equal to three, h prime of x is equal to four. Or you could say this is h prime of three. So this is four. And so there you have it. This is going to evaluate to six times zero, which that's all just gonna be zero, plus six times four, which is going to be equal to 24. And we're done.